Ladies and gentlemen, ADS Play 101 here, and welcome to another episode of The Feels for another Tekken's reaction. Um, this one is going to be for an announcement. I think this is like the story trailer, and uh, I think they're going to announce some DLC. Now, the DLC is, according to the leak, it's either going to be uh, Roger, Eddie Gordo, and I think Julia was on there. I don't remember all four that they revealed, but... Let's just see. This is three three minutes forty three seconds. So let me see if I can speed this up. There we go. The crowd is talking in the background, so you might hear that. I swear I thought he was bent backwards. <laughs> it looked like he was bent backwards there for a little bit. Turn this down a little bit more. That's Raina. Jack 8. Nina. Oh, that's right. She's with, um... The Mishima Zaibatsu, there's Bruce, I mean Brian, Fang Wei. Shane. Of course, Kazuya. Lars. Lee, there we go. Leo. Zafina. Claudio. Warong. And Azucena. Gonna end up being my new main. One of my new mains. Ooh, King. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, this look fire. Yoshimitsu. Alyssa. There's Jun. That was dope. I just like that. Oh. That's a crazy way to reveal it. Oh, why you got the hairstyle? Hold up. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's up with this hairstyle, bro? Why do they keep giving black characters this hairstyle? Like, why is this a trend? I ain't gonna lie, like, they lost me with this. Like, what meeting did they have to where they thought this was like like he had long locks why would they cut him he had long locks from Tekken fucking one all the way up until Tekken seven like why would they cut his locks and give him this fuckboy hairstyle like what is this man that's the only. I'm happy to see him in the game because he belongs in Tekken, but that hairstyle gotta come on, man. Like y'all gotta stop with this. Like it seems like this is just like is, is this the only hairstyle y'all can give black people? Like they got fades, they got high tops, they got all these other hairstyles. Y'all keep giving them these these tapered locks hairstyle, like. It's like every black character in a fighting game starting to look like Killmonger from Black Panther. Like, I don't get it. 
I mean, I'm glad he's in the game. I like the I like the outfit. I just hate the hairstyle. That hairstyle gotta go. Like that hairstyle has to be like ended. Okay, that's dope. I mean, I like the trailer. I like the little reveal. Trust me, that that reveal was dope. the world to, okay so it, it was fine the only thing i didn't agree with was the hairstyle like that's it like the way they revealed him was actually fire like the way they revealed him was actually fire like we would see somebody doing capoeira capoeira out of nowhere like that I wonder if they got like another trailer of him actually like doing any gameplay. Let me see. Okay, go to teaser. I wonder if it so it might be the same teaser just in a standalone video. It is. Coração ardente, mas cabeça fria. I ain't gonna lie, like they kind of lost me with the hairstyle. Everything else is fine, but they lost me with their hairstyle. But yeah, so that was the story mode trailer, and that was Eddie Gordo, the first DLC character. Now, the DLC leak mentioned that it was going to be Eddie Gordo. Matter of fact, let me look up the DLC leak. Taking eight. Roster League DLC. It was supposed to be Fakumaram, who I can only assume. Let me see. Let me go to Google. Because Eddie was confirmed. Trying to see if I can find, here we go. Damn, this is a terrible picture. And the link not debunk. So, if just going with this, which has been correct so far, I mean, even the full roster before it was fully revealed, even that got confirmed by the characters in the game. So, there's Eddie right there, even though he doesn't have the hairstyle that, you know, they revealed let me see how well can y'all see this y'all can't even see it that well let me um let's see let me tell you. there we go so looking at even right now y'all still can't see it that good um, there you go y'all can see it better now so looking at the roster right the only reveal four was going to be coming this year so eddie turned out to be true as far as the next three it's going to be either alex fakumaram julia who looks like she's like a, a high shaman or something like that uh whoever this guy is he he looks new i can't make out if that's uh lay wulong or somebody else, Armor King and Roger. I know Roger's gonna get put in, put in the game this year because he's a character that's been missed since like what Tekken three. So yeah, Roger's been missed. So it looks like the DLC roster is actually true. I mean, at least for right now. 
um, as far as like, I don't think they're going to release Alex and Roger in the same year unless they just make them like alternate costumes. But then again, they made Kuma and Panda two separate characters. So, you know, who knows? But yeah, so that was my reaction to the story mode trailer and Eddie Gordo uh, being revealed and teased. Um, yeah, man, Tekken 8 comes out next Friday and I can't wait to get my hands on the game. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Peace. And uh, I really hope they start changing that, that damn hairstyle. I swear. <laughs> I hope they let you customize it in the game so that you ain't really got to. Well, that's just me.